This is Namra Wahid. Today I'll be showing you how to find system stability and frequency response using MATLAB with different techniques. So let's take this transfer function as an example. We can determine whether or not the system is stable but just by plotting the roots of the denominator. First the poles are found by the using roots command and can and can be plotted by imaginary poles versus real poles marked with x data points. Notice that there are poles in the right half of the plane. It means that the, the system is unstable. We can also generate this pole zero diagram by using transfer function command. And we can define our we can define running numerator and denominator in that command. This command is from control system toolbox. This will generate this graph. Again, we can take another example in which we have two different polynomials in the denominator. Notice that we cannot use root commands directly. We need to convolve these two. We need to convolve these two polynomials, and we so we can plug in the root, the coefficients of the polynomials, and plug and plug these into the transfer function and use the same IPC map command to figure out our whole zero diagram. Notice that the sin the system is again unstable. So let's move into the, into another example of the frequency response. Let's take this example. The frequency response function h of j omega is found by setting s is equal to j omega in the transfer function for a system. We can use freaks command to compute the frequency response function over a range of frequencies. The general form is this, where b and a are, coefficient, are the coefficient of the denominator and denominator, and w is the frequency in radians per second. We often want to plot the frequency axis on a log scale and select frequency points spread evenly on that scale. To do this, we are going to use log space marked from 0 to 2 with 100 data points and plot in the ML log graph of absolute value of h versus omega. We can also plot the decibel well, that our frequency response in decibel. To do this, we can, we can take the log of absolute value of h, which is found, h found from frequency command, and multiply by 20 versus omega. So this will generate this graph. Note that this is in decibel. This is in the absolute value of h versus omega, and this is absolute value of h versus 0 to 30 frequency per second. In addition, we can also plot our phase angle with angle h versus omega, and we can also do in 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 degree. So this this one is in radians and this is in this graph of the face angle is in deg in degrees. Let's move on to another fun technique. We can use FV tool from FDA toolbox, which is a part of it, and we, this can display the magnitude response of digital filter defined with numerator b and denominator a. So let's take this transfer function as an example. This generate this graph. Notice that we want our pole zero diagram to be defined. So let's take this. We can find our pole zero diagram by this tab. And notice that this is the system is unstable again. So let's stay. We can also find our stability result from using this tab where it says stable. We can also find our coefficients of the numerator and denominator defined here. And we can also get our step response, impulse response, magnitude magnitude superimposed magnitude and phase responses magnitude can be changed from decibels to simple magnitude and magnitude squared and zero phase there is another fun technique we can use sampling toolbox to, to define our transfer function using step and scope sources from, from the library of the sampling we can we can determine our stability. Notice that this is all converging to 1. It means the system is stable. The system was stable in the previously defined uh, transfer function that we did in using the regular MATLAB command. Notice that we, if we, if we plot in a roots command, the system also appears to be, to be stable.